Hello there YouTube and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and today we're going to do the raffle video. Now this is without a doubt the biggest raffle I've done to date and I'm very very excited about it and I think I found a cause that uh, well currently especially with the, uh, the way Dizzy is for instance um, I'm very very excited to have the chance to be able to with your guys help potentially help a, uh, a another particular pooch and so before I go into too much detail um, just so you know, I will go through all the prizes at the end of this video, but uh, in the in the meantime, what I do want to do is just show you a little film and, uh, and we'll take it from there, shall we? Let's do that then. Come on. So that was the video about Buster and uh, I tell you that pulls at my heartstrings a little bit to see a little 18 month old uh, happy jolly friendly wonderful little uh, lab springer cross uh, in such a such a situation so I don't know about you but for me that personally kind of gets the uh, gets the old emotions running high but uh, before we do anything else let's have a little chat with Buster's owners Stephen and Sarah uh, that I recorded the other night go on then so that was the video showing Buster and why he needs your help. And that's why we're doing this raffle um, today and over the next two weeks. So uh, before any further ado, let's find out a little bit about uh, Buster's history and his owners. And uh, let me introduce you to Stephen and Sarah. Thank you very much for coming and joining us today, guys. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah, this is um, uh, Buster. And uh, yeah, we, we picked him up uh, when he was... Uh, 12 months old so he's now 18 months and he were uh, we, we essentially rescued him from um, from being put to sleep and uh, Sarah you rescued him yeah from... he came into practice um, ready to be put to sleep and I couldn't let that happen to him so kind of a long story but to cut it short basically um, all my fellow colleagues just kind of said oh Sarah you're getting a new house you know you can have a dog <laughs> um, so I was like yeah so I ended up taking Buster home that night which is a bit unexpected um but yeah so he's been with us ever since he's you know a great great member of the family just sort of complete little mm. doesn't he so yeah, yeah. it's uh he's he's like a little shadow around the house i mean i was when when uh when sarah told me we were getting a dog um <laughs> i found out the day he he, he turned up at, at the yeah. house which is lovely um a bit of a shock <laughs> a bit of a shock but um but no it, it's it's odd when he's not here often when he's uh when he's out for the evening over with uh with the in-laws and such it's yeah. so strange for having around the house. So um, yeah. 
um, yeah, we're glad glad we've we've, we've got him definitely. But um, excellent. We do need a we do need that that bit of help now. Yeah. So let's uh, let's just let people know a little bit about you guys, if if that's okay with you. Um, so Stephen, you're a teacher, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I'm a primary school teacher. I've been teaching for about four years now. Uh, teach year six. Um, uh, yeah, enjoying it massively. And Sarah, you're a I'm a um, well, soon to be hopefully um, qualified veterinary nurse. Um, I've got my final exam in three weeks' time, mm. so after that I'll be fully qualified. And I work in a small animal practice, they're just mainly dogs and cats and rabbits. So Okay, yeah. so it's exciting times then. It's a bit, yeah. lovely, bit exciting. <laughs> but you can at least that's it's a good kind of idea because I'm sure that um, anybody that's out there watching at the moment um, may wonder sort of how you came across Buster. So obviously that was be that would have been from the practice that you were working in. Yes, yeah, yeah. He came to the practice that um, I currently work in. So yeah, I think uh, it's, it's 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 one of those things, and we've had the question: Well, why don't we kind of? get him fixed at the practice and mm. and uh, the the main issue is 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 the the surgery that's required it's it's nothing that can be done um at a small local practice it's something which requires um yes. south coast and specialist referrals and that's that's what we're going for and, and hopefully the money we get it's just that just covers the cost of surgery it covers no x-rays no consultations no pre-work no aftercare it's just the cost of surgery so um that's um the rest of it we managed well thankfully we're able to cover at a, at a subsidized cost and and hopefully so yeah, yeah. yeah. so can you tell us a little bit more i mean obviously i put in the film there about kind of what um affliction or the illness buster has with with that leg mm -hmm. um but can you tell us a little bit more about that go into a little bit more detail in in as much as was he born with the leg being kind of slightly wonky or has that grown over time has it got worse and worse and worse and you know without going into graphic detail <laughs> um kind of you know what's going to have to happen to uh, poor old buster to to, to get mm -hmm. it fixed again so basically, um, he was basically born with it, and it sort of developed and kind of progressed and deteriorated over time. Um, so as a puppy, from what we believe, because it's quite, it's not a rare condition, but it's not something you come across all the time. Um, but from what we believe is that he probably, when he was a puppy, he would have been quite ill. He would have had like a fever, um, you know, high temperature and everything quite poorly, but it sort of went untreated. Um, and I think due to that, he has kind of contributed to kind of how it's progressed to kind of his foot sort of, kind of literally going out on angle and basically his bone has just kind of continued to grow um it hasn't stopped and um, hence why it's just kind of pushing his kind of foot joint out to out to the side yeah um, kind of yeah. surgery wise we'd have to go and get a you know to find out more when he's going for a consultation um, but there's a few options where he can either have it plated um so they'll probably cut the bone take a bit out um and then sort of basically fuse the fuse the bone together and probably the and kind of ankle joint as well um or another option they've also given is to put a, basically an external kind of frame fixator on the outside so again they'll probably do some sort of remodeling of the bone and have this big frame on for a little while just to help that bone sort of re regrow and sort of you know hold solid um to prevent any further, further sort of worsening of this bit there so yeah yeah and uh, presumably i mean there's going to be a quite a significant amount of aftercare as well but yes, you yeah. guys are, are kind of looking after that to some degree anyway yeah, so i mean the surgery is just literally the beginning you know it's just the surgery and then it'll be a long road to obviously probably physiotherapy um and just because you might get some muscle wastes in that leg as well just kind of building him sort of back up gradually um so it will be a long long period of sort of recovery time yeah absolutely normal happy lively <laughs> self <laughs> The good thing is that Buster, at being 18 months old, he's still mm -hmm. young enough to be able to adapt and to be able to get those yeah. bones still growing and, and fixing nice and quickly, hopefully. Yeah. Anyway. That's why we want to kind of get it down sooner rather than later. Absolutely, absolutely. So you've uh, you've already invested uh, quite a bunch of money getting uh, getting all the sort of diagnosis and all that sort of stuff into Buster already. Mm -hmm. um, now we're looking for this money to enable the the, the operation to happen, mm -hmm. and then you've got the aftercare and what have you after that. Um, now you mentioned on your just giving page, I think that if there isn't, or sorry, if you've raised the six thousand but it doesn't quite come to that, then you're going to be donating the money on. Is that correct? Yeah. So yeah. I think if uh, there's there's a couple of options. I think any any if 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 we don't get to the, to the to the point where we're able to do enough for him, any 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 surplus or any money that is 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 not needed, we'll go straight to Dogs Trust, and hopefully that if if somebody 
um, is in a similar situation to us, they can yeah. approach Dogs Trust and they can they can apply for funding similar to what to what we've attempted to do um, already. And hopefully, somebody else can benefit, um, even if we don't. And it's I know it's 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 tough. It really is tough trying to. I mean, when we took Buster on, we we never we we both said there's no chance we can afford to do this ourselves. Mm-hmm. So we'll give them the best shot possible, and yeah. we'll do what we can. Um, Absolutely, we can we can. If we can't, then it's uh, it'll be a massive shame. So absolutely yeah i mean well we i think it's uh it's it you have to look forward you have to look positively and you have to look yeah. at what uh at what may be possible and currently um bus has had a, a reprieval from um from a sort of an untimely um finish so uh hopefully we can make sure that continues to happen now whilst we're probably not going to get the full amount at least hopefully the, the reviewers and everyone watching will be able to support yeah. Yeah, I mean, every every donation counts and that's what we've had We've had t- small donations. We've yeah. had we've had larger donations, and every penny it, it honestly contributes to a to a, a great cause. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Well, just before uh, we finish off the interview, then is there anything you you would like to say um, to the viewers that are watching now? Uh, maybe anything about Buster or you know anything that you'd like to say at all to uh, let people know a little bit more about Buster and about what he's like as a as a spaniel lab cross. Yeah, I mean we've um, I said when we when we took him on, he's uh, I've got I've personally I've got a, a niece who's very scared of dogs, and uh, Buster's the first dog she's really taken to. He's um, as, as I mentioned on Just Giving Page, he's the friendliest dog I've ever met. Um, he's very soft mouthed. He ever comes across children. He's he's very very good with children. Yeah. He went into school. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he met thirty <laughs> odd of my children at it's school. Really, my buster. Um, he's a dog. I mean, yeah. he's just he's just a wonderful pet to have. As you can see here, he's 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 a lovely home dog. Mm. He's he's very obedient. As you can see on the video, he. He can put. He does a, a selection of tricks. If that, uh, <laughs> if that's <laughs> um, yeah. but um, this, it'd be such a shame if we can't get where we where we where we'd like to get to get him. Uh, to, I think he just deserves that, you know. And of course, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. But, uh, but no, anything is 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 great, is, is hugely appreciated. Yeah, so. Okay. And is there a time scale that you need to work within to uh, to to make it all happen? I think we were putting about twelve months on this before mm. um before the leg becomes a hindrance i mean he's currently out of puppy stages now so yeah. he's, he's, we've had regular x-rays and he's now um his, his bones and joints are now mm. fused so he's no yeah. longer a puppy mm-hmm. um, so 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 i think that the wear and the aching is going to become more apparent mm. as, as the years go by so you can see in the video he's he's quite lively he's quite active as you can see but again once he rests he's very He's very achy, and as time goes by, that's going to come more apparent. Yeah. Of course, yeah. yeah. Painful. Sort of, I'm noticing as well, like you're kind of getting cast, you know, callous kind of bits on his skin there, obviously, where he's kind of leaning on, on the side. Yeah. Of so, just little things like that, you know, which obviously can make him become uncomfortable. Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. So, the sooner it's done, the better for Buster, then. Yeah, yeah. definitely absolutely okay then right well we will do what we what we can (laughs) and well thank you very much for uh, letting us know about buster and what we'll do is we will absolutely have more of uh, or um, another chat with you guys again uh, once we've come to that two-week period and we've figured out how much money that we've raised but fingers crossed we can we can make a nice dent into that fund for you massively appreciate thank you so much for your time thanks for your time (laughs) Okay, so that was the uh, the interview with Stephen and Sarah, and uh, a great couple. Really big heart on them taking on Buster, and I think what they're doing is really, really, really good. And uh, hopefully, we can help them. Not necessarily achieve that whole target. I don't think that's realistic, but who knows? Um, but uh, there may be a benefactor out there that watches this video that wants to contribute a chunk. Who knows? But um, hopefully, we can go some way into helping achieve that goal of that six thousand pound overall total to get Buster well to get that operation for Buster and to get him looked after now obviously Stephen and Sarah are going to be continuing to uh, pay out of their own pocket for long-term care and all that sort of stuff but uh, I think it's great if we can get a movement going to be able to uh, help Buster out at this particular time and I hope you agree now then let me show you what the prizes are we've got three I couldn't count then we got three boxes going on at the moment and uh, in no particular order let's go into box one shall we we have the geek vape amit tank this is just the regular one up front some of these have been review items but most of them are, are, are brand new um, we've got the uh, the medusa 
that we've reviewed a little while ago, RDTA Tangy Thingy Jig. We've got a Freemax Mini RDTA Star, which is a little bit old, but you know, I think it's still going a good strong way. We've got the OBS engine, we've got one of those bad boys, and that is in stainless steel. We do have, what else have we got here? We've got the brand new Cheetah 2 RDA, which I've not got around to being able to review yet, but that is in the queue. Not that particular one, but another one that I've got. We do have the uh, MVP4 from Inakin and that little setup going on right there, which is a fantastic one. This is completely unopened. Um, Colour-wise, I'm not entirely sure what colour this is. Does it say? No? No? I think it might be black. I don't really know. I don't really know, but uh, anyway, that's there. So uh, that, that and that's a that's a corking little setup. Not the prettiest, but it works like a mofo. We also have an Aromamizer Plus RDTA, and we do have the uh, the little uh, pin dad from Bomatech as well. Those are all kind of properly um, packaged up and all that sort of good jazz. Right, let's move on to the second one. So the second box has got a few more bits and pieces going on. We've got a stainless steel and a black pin dad. So uh, if you're squonking or if you're uh, just wanting a little flavor, little one of these little tiny tanks, fucking marvelous. Um, no, there's, there's a lot in this box, there really is. We've got the Loki RDA, which we looked at a little while ago. That's in this kind of gold color going on right there. We've got that happening. We've got a... Uh, We've got the Amit dual coil version going on on this one. This is a stainless steel one once again with all of the glass and all that sort of good jazz. We do have a Woody Vapes, um, what's this one called? The X200 stab wood box going on there. So you've got this stab wood going on on this side. This isn't the one that I carved up in the review. This is another one with this black logo going on there. So that's a that's a nice solid um, setup if that's the sort of thing that tickles your fancy. Um, we do have another one of these Star RDTAs as well. Uh, we've got, this one could be a popular one. We've got the Faro RTA as well. That's in a, a, uh, the black. That's the black version of this bad boy right there. I don't think, is that the one that I reviewed? I don't know. I don't think so. It might be. I can't remember. Anyway, it's that one. Black and stainless steel. So that's in there. We've got a Gorge RDTA, no, RDA in stainless steel with that. And I think that one comes with the the Ultim cap, if I remember correctly. Uh, we do have the brand new OBS Cryos RDTA, which is brand new and unopened. And we also have another Cheetah um, RDA from the OBS people as well. Once again, this color, this one is black. So there's a bunch of those ones going on right there. Now then. Box number three. Okay, so box number three. Told you there's a lot going on. We have another Loki RDA, which is in the stainless steel, which is a funky little thing with all those funky little posts. We've got another pin dad. This one is the stainless steel one, I believe. Uh, we've got a Cleto XO in stainless steel, which is very, very cool. Um, we have the brand new Tiger Tech Springer. I have got, I did get sent two of these. I've got another one in my review queue at the moment and I'm using it right here. Um, we also have OBS. We have another RDTA from the OBS people. We have another Cheetah from, uh, from these crazy cats as well. Um, crazy, see, Cheetah, see what I did there? Um, this one's in stainless. We also have here an Aromamizer Plus RDTA in black. This big bad boy there. We've got another one of these Freemax Star Tanks. And we also have the Tsunami Mech that I used in the review for that bad boy as well. And that's the brass one, um, which I did quite like, I believe. So I think you can see that we've got a fair amount there in the raffle boxes, but more will be getting added without a doubt. I am I'm going to be adding more as time goes on. Um, and there will also be a few other, other extra bits and pieces, a couple of special pieces when we hit certain levels. So once we hit a kind of a 500 pound level, I'll throw in something quite, quite spanky, quite fabulous. And then if we hit a thousand pounds, I will throw in something to really make it worthwhile. Absolutely. So how do you get involved? Okay, so there's three kind of main tiers. Five pounds will get you one ticket. So five pounds will get you one ticket in the raffle. Um, Ten pounds will get you three tickets. And 20 pounds gets you eight tickets. Okay, now anything above that will just be a kind of a, a, a continuation. A, 
an addition of that. So £40 would get you 16 tickets. That kind of affair, you know. Um, but uh, please, please, please do contribute in pounds. Great British pounds sterling. Um, not in kind of random dollars and whatever else. Because uh, if you're going to be paying in any in, in, in any kind of currency, there is always a little uh, conversion jobby that you can use in on how you do it via PayPal or gift aid or whatever else. However, however, however you choose to pay. But... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the, uh, the the link down across there for the Buster's Leg Just Giving page. Now, this is where I want you to contribute your money. Your money goes directly to them. It comes nowhere near me at all. Once you've done that, I need you to send me an email to raffles at vapingbiker.co.uk. That's raffles at vapingbiker.co.uk. Um, and in that email, I need to know your name. I need to know that you are... Um, you're old enough to, you're over 18, that you're old enough to, to vape in your respective place. Um, and also I need confirmation of your your contribution. That is something that I will be checking with Stephen and Sarah as well. So uh, I know you guys are all very super splendid, wonderful people and uh, wouldn't try and pull the wool over anyone's eyes, especially for a charitable cause. But um, we will have to check and I hope you understand why that may be. So please, please, please include your details on, uh, on your contribution to the raffle please make sure that uh, that uh, those details are there and if you can send me an email from the same email that you contributed to the raffle in that makes life just a little bit easier for allowing us to catch up now then if you do want to uh, contribute absolutely anonymously, you can contact Stephen, I believe, through the page as well, if you so wish. So um, we can try and sort of pull things together in that respect. However, like I said, hopefully, 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 hopefully we can raise a massive amount of money for this. Obviously, it's a huge total and it's unlikely we're going to get be able to get anywhere near the remaining kind of three and a half, four thousand that I believe they're looking for. But um, but you never know. There might be a benefactor there with with particularly large wallets that wants to help uh, help Buster live a happier life. Who knows? There might be. But uh, in the in the uh, in the absence of that, then hopefully we can raise them a good total to certainly help them get on their way. Now, like I said, I will be adding the occasional bits and bobs and more to those prize boxes as the next couple of weeks goes on, and that's what I'm going to be aiming for. Two weeks time, um, and hopefully we're going to get to see exactly where we're at. So two weeks. Today's Tuesday, so. So what I'm going to go for is I am going to go for um, Wednesday the 28th. That's the date that I'm going to go for and closing it. Unless the only thing the reason the only reason that I wouldn't close it on the 28th is if we're super close to a really kind of kind of you know nice well-rounded total. But uh, even then, it would only be a couple of days, and I'd make sure that I uh, I let you guys know all about that anyway. So yeah, two weeks to go. Um, five pound gets you one pound, uh, one ticket. Ten pound gets you three tickets. Twenty pound gets you eight tickets. And if you do multiples of that, if you do multiples of the twenty, or if you do thirty, for instance, then you'll get uh, eight, uh, eleven tickets. There we go. So it just makes everybody understand where we're at. If I try to explain that one from the outset, so I don't think there's anything else I can tell you. But hopefully, we get to see some good stuff come through from you guys. I know you always get behind everything that we do when it comes to charity on this channel and I hope this is a brilliant brilliant um, cause that you guys can relate to and uh, and you can help out with. I really, really hope that that will be the case. Uh, but I will keep you up to date with what goes in those prize boxes and uh, hopefully we can get something pretty darn special come out of it. Anyway, that's about all I've got to say for today. Thank you very much for joining me. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. Um, <laughs> Let's do some good, shall we, people? Let's get on it. Yes. Right then. Let's have a vape. Have it large.